Hi there, it's Kevin with Gone Rogue Games here with another episode of What I Got In Today, where I showcase products that we got in from distributors. A lot of these are orders that patrons have ordered, and it's always nice to see uh, people ordering things that I have no clue even existed, or it might just be products that I thought are cool and I should give them a try. So, without further ado, let's get into the products that have come in. The first one I want to talk about is Uprising is now available for normal orderings. This was a uh, Flesh and Blood set that was only available in the pre-order. I didn't get as many uprising as I put in for. Uh, so I was actually cut quite significantly. So I know there are a lot of you patrons that were cut on uprising. This is now order to your heart's content. So I believe it's $56 a box around there. Could be between, it's between 55 and 60. I can't remember what the, the landed price is. For uprising, I still think Flesh and Blood is a great game. I think it has legs. It still has a huge following. And this is their latest set, which is very, very popular. It's got incredibly good reviews. I still personally need to play it. I need to find some time to get back into Flesh and Blood. I did play a few games uh, with a customer the other day, taught him how to play, and I, I'm really excited to get back into it. I think we might be doing Tuesday Blitz again here at the store here at Gonro Games or maybe we'll try for like a Saturday or something to try to to play Flesh and Blood. Hopefully uh, when school picks back up uh, locally we start to get more people coming back in. It's kind of the dog days of summer. Oftentimes we're very very slow here at our local game store. I'm curious for those watching how is it for your local scene as well? Um, I know every time I've ever been to other stores here in the Utah area when I used to live in Salt Lake or when I used to live in Orem. I know that summer also was when the attendance was the, the, the lowest by far. So I, I'm wondering if it's just my store, if it's just locally, just kind of our culture here in um, kind of the Rocky Mountain area. Um, if that's just the case, people are out doing stuff, especially right before school starts back in. But then we really pick up. And so I'm hoping when we pick up with school, uh, we can get Flesh and Blood going again. So if you're local and you're interested in Uprising, I have it here in stock. If you're interested in learning the, the game, if I have some time, I'd, be, I'd love to show you how to play the game. It is a very complex game, has a bit of a learning curve, but it's a very, very fun game. Uh, it's my second favorite game, collectible card game at the moment. Still like Magic a little bit better, but Flesh and Blood's great. Speaking of collectible card games, I got this weeb crap in that I've been... I have to show this here. I'm, I'm pretty, pretty. Oh man, you should see. I, I should show the camera of the stuff I'm trying to talk about, and it's like a leaning tower that's about ready to fall over. I'm actually going to show something else with these. This is the Attack on Titan. This is Y Schwartz. Y Schwartz is available now from three distributors, I believe, carry it now. So it's a lot easier for me to get. It used to be only one distributor carried it, and it was very, very miserable to try to get Y Schwartz. Uh, but I, you are able to get this Attack on Titan. Apparently, it's the most overrated uh, anime ever. I don't watch anime because I have standards, and I. I'm not a weeb, so I don't know anything about Attack on Titan, but um, I'll show at the end of the video, I'll show what I've been doing with this Attack on Titan uh, for a collection for someone, a way to stay in touch with them. Uh, but anyway, Attack on Titan is available in, in Volume 2 and Volume 1. I believe the box price is around that same thing, 50, 50 to 60, 55 to 60. I can't remember the, the, the exact price off the top of my head, but this that's typically what Y Schwartz booster boxes are. Um, I think they're called booster boxes. I can't remember what they call these, these packs. They have eight a can't remember how many even are included in this but they come in these little boxes 20 packs that's what it is 20 packs is in in here and they have a, a ton of different anime you can get for these uh i think that series three or season three or series three i think it's called season one ser season two and se series one series two and series series three series three final season is on pre-order right now so if you do want attack on titan series three from wash wars uh, message me. I need to get those pre-orders in as soon as possible. Uh, but they are kind of cool. You get your your uh, little promo in here, I guess. The Chimmy Mikasa. No clue what this is. Don't even ask. I've watched one episode of uh, Attack on Titan and thought it was the most miserable thing ever. As with all animes, you're not going to get any uh, sympathy off of me if you watch anime. Trash. Anyway, but they are available to order. Next up, as far as accessories, I got a bunch of these in as, as part of the deal for ordering uh, a, a lot of product. This is the Artisan Cube from um, Ultra Pro. Now these, um, if they're anything like the other cubes, I haven't quite reviewed these. Oh, okay. These do seem to be a little more high quality. So unfortunately, when they came out the the the, the Cube 3s with like the, the Moxes on them and the Lightning Bolt, they had like the, the iconic art on them. They were pretty low quality. And actually, I'm starting to look at this and they actually do seem to be uh, pretty low quality. It looks like they've fixed the magnets on these, but these are just cardboard in here. So there are eventually do fall apart. I've had customers have these for quite a while before they fell apart, but they do eventually do start to show age. So if you're looking for a product long term that is going to really, really hold its, you know, go with something like a Game Genic archive here. 
that <laughs> has all that attack on titan cards i'll show in a second that are in here uh but if you're looking for just something that's cheap i think i'm going to sell these for either 10 or 15 bucks you, you do have to pay shipping i can have like booster packs in there or something like that if you want to use it as a shipping container um we can probably stuff, stuff some uh things in, in there this particular one you can draw on so that's what the the material on the the sides is, is for drawing on and so you can draw your own stuff and label it however you want. These work very well for like popper battle boxes. They work very well for cubes, um, for to put your cube packs in. You can store your commander decks in here. Again, the only thing that I wasn't, I know that Tony Community College did a review on these and they just give them miserable reviews because these were supposed to MSRP for like a hundred bucks. And they're just cardboard. They really start to tear and wear. And I agree a hundred percent with his assessment that this product was just an absolute fail for trying to be a high-end product. Now though, 10, 15 bucks, not bad at all. It's a just basically like a BCW storage box at that point that is, you know, might re require some duct tape or some gluing or some fixing later on, but you kind of get what you pay for here it, and it's a great little uh, box. I do have these available, plenty of them available. 10 to 15 bucks, I think is gonna be the price. You pay the shipping on them. I can of course combine with other stuff so you don't have to, you know, worry about Having, I mean, they'll, it'll cost like 15 bucks to ship is a problem with these suckers. Uh, so uh, keep that in mind with, uh, they're kind of hefty too. Yeah, the weight on these are quite hefty. But keep in mind, these are available. Um, they are, again, I would not think these are great at the cost of like 60 plus or 50 plus, but something in the range of that 10, 15 bucks, I think this is a great deal for these. So that is the Cube 3 Artisan Series, which you can fill out a form if you're a patron. Again, if you're not a patron, Go ahead and look at my Patreon and see if it's something that you uh, would benefit from. It's a great service. Uh, it's kind of like a you scratch my back, I scratch your back service where money up front, I can order products uh, from distributors. You you save a couple bucks, I you know make a sale. It's all good or at least have that that funding here to keep doing these videos and keep running the store. And it is a, a, a great little symbiotic relationship that I would love to be a part with you. We can be nice little symbiotic lovers okay so next up let's see what haven't i done all oh, these boulder trays so i showed like the exclusive purple black we got them now the boulder and trays in the regular colors so there's green black um frosted i think they actually call this emerald onyx uh frosted uh clear they didn't come up with a name they should have called it diamond or something they call it clear and we have blue uh, that's not blue ruby and we have uh sapphire so those are kind of white blue black red green ones are out i'm sure they'll have their regular colors for boulders um basically i did a review on these in one of my other videos see if i i don't have it handy let's just open up one of these real quick uh the blue one and i can show you the difference between the other boulders let me grab another boulder over here so i mean boulders they're my go-to deck box uh sometimes you can get a lemon uh, with a boulder. This one has a little crack in it. So what I mean by that is they don't open and close the best, but for a deck box, for like a low-end cheap deck box, I think boulders are the best. We chucked this sucker down the stair to do a test and there, it didn't pop open, no damage uh, to the cards inside. I've heard these things getting run over and been fine. Uh, these are great little deck boxes. Um, so they did come out with one that can hold um, the tray for your dice. So it basically is just a dice tray, a little bit you know larger even without the dice tray slightly larger you can see and then the dice tray kind of makes it even a little bit bigger but uh yeah dice tray in there and then again you still have your your cards you can add in there these also see the boulder trays do not come in like the earth version the earth tint stuff i guess i can show those too that's another product i did get in um so you can get these in their classic like clearish colors but they came out with these return to earth which has quite a few colors now and so here's a blue one. So this is these are supposed to be made out of recycling materials. The only problem is maybe they've got better quality of these, but the first one we opened and tried out of this blue or out of these return earths, they came with like a gray and an orange at first. Is they, yeah, they have like weird, sometimes they often have, they don't close and open the best. And and then yeah, same thing. See how this kind of caves in? And it got a little kind of yeah, can you see that in camera? How bad that kind of caves in with their material. And I haven't really tested these as much as I should, but I, I'm worried that it might affect the cards. That's the only thing, like the cards will start rubbing against them weird. Um, and I don't know if I'd be that as comfortable putting them in these as I would in like a regular boulder. Uh, but they do, they're nice solid color. They don't like pick up the greases off your hands as bad as the other boulders. Uh, but they are, you know, a nice sturdy little deck box. Oh yeah, that clipped in pretty good. And you do find these little like 
uh, imperfections all over these these boulder return to earthlands. You can see that kind of imperfection here. And I know that was like Tony Community College's complaints about these bold, return to earth boulders. They are slightly more expensive. I think these, same thing. So the, the trays are nine, I think. So they're two bucks more than a, a normal boulder. And I think these are a buck more. They're eight bucks for the return to the earth, if I remember correctly. So the regular ones are seven. And these did just recently go up. That's just the price of inflation happening, especially on like, you know, all these products coming from overseas are getting a lot more expensive with the cost of fuel to transport them but they're available boulders available in the normal boulders the, the tray boulders and you can even get boulders in other sizes i think they come in 40 60 80 uh and 100 for how many cards you put in so for flesh and blood i love to use the 60s uh for board games i love to use the 40 size ones. so yeah those are an option the boulder and trays um are available now to order uh, hopefully there won't be any stocking issues. Sometimes boulders are very, very tough to come by as they do tend to sell very, very quickly. They are a, a high demand product. All right, so another thing that came in finally was these Pokemon. Um, these ones are going to be, ew, I don't know what the cost of each one is with this. So is there 10 in here of tins? Let me check my cheat sheet real quick for, um, okay. So I think I have one, two, three, four, Oh, these are kind of cheap. So I'll actually open up a couple of these tins here. I think they're going to be like seven a piece. I don't know how much for a so case is going to be like 66. I think like 66 a piece for a case. But I could sell these individually if you wanted to for like seven a piece. Yeah, because there'd be 10 in here. So yeah, it's a little bit cheaper if you get, get it by the case. Pokemon Go actually sold very, very well. Um, uh, people were worried about... Pokemon Go not selling because of just the, the product saturation. So they come in five different tins. We got Blissey. See how good I am with my Pokemon knowledge. We got Blissey, right? Or is that Chansey? We got Magikarp. We got Pikachu. We got Snorlax. And we got Eevee. And I'm pretty sure there is nothing different within these um, tins. Typically when I open these tins, they're going to have the same packs. There's not going to be any variety between the tins. But let's just open up and see. They should just have Pokemon Go packs in them. Um, yeah, so there's me a Pikachu. This can be a Pikachu one in every one of them. Um, so you get your little uh, coin flipper. Uh, it will have the uh, collectible card that goes with it. So this one's an Eevee. And then uh, there will be some Pokemon codes um, in here. Feel free to use those Pokemon Go codes if you want them. And then it just comes with two packs with Pokemon Go, which isn't a bad value with these. These do go slightly more than regular Pokemon packs. And might as well show some Pokemon Go packs while we're here and see if we can grab a... I don't think there is any chase card. That's what I'm... I'm kind of... Uh, this, this set's kind of weird. There's a code for anyone that wants to redeem that on Pokemon. Um, this set sold so well, but it really doesn't have any chase cards in it as, as, as far as I saw. So we have... A, and by the way, I did learn how to play Pokemon. We've been playing Pokemon here at the store every Saturday. So I didn't get anything in this pack. Just a, a Zatu and a Melmetal in here. So no chase cards or specialty cards or whatnot. But I actually find Pokemon quite interesting as a, a card game to play. It's one of my least favorite card games. But that's because I don't really like the, the ultra constructed format. It feels very legacy like in, in Magic where there's very little variance. You just go through your entire deck to find what you need. And if you ever played a pre-release Pokemon, it's absolutely miserable. You never find your evolutions. There's not enough trainers and item cards to really make it work. Energy is very weird uh, because you can't like tutor it up very easily without those relying on those trainers. So what we've been doing here at the store is we've been playing a league out of an entire build and, build and battle box stadium. So it requires all those cards, I think, to actually make a, a, a decent deck. And it's kind of fun at that point. And then we get a pack per loss. And then every week you can add a new pack to your um, pool to make it more competitive. So two Wampa Wamps, a, a, a Tyranitar, a Tyranitar, and a Lunatone is what we got out of these guys. So again, some Wampy Wampies out of those packs. But these are available. Again, I think the case of these are going to be 70-ish, around or around 66, and individually be seven a piece uh, for these ones. So order to your heart's content. I am buried in Pokemon. I got tons of it. So PM me if you're looking for Pokemon. I basically have everything, not booster boxes. Booster boxes still seem to sell well and... I don't know why Pokemon doesn't just focus more on printing booster boxes rather than all these supplemental products. Uh, but um, uh, I basically have tons of product from everything from like the unions to um, all the supplemental products to 
even elite trainers, those type of stuff. Uh, I'm looking over here, like Cleavor V stars, uh, bolt. Uh, we have, yeah, we have the the Bolton V boxes, Pikachu V box, tons and tons of product that I'm really buried in because how it works here at the store is when distributors say, "Hey, do you want some Pokemon?" And I I say yes, and I just basically take what they give me because Pokemon is very very hard just to order normally like anything else. Last but not least, this this board game is a highly anticipated board game that came in. This is Arc Nova. I believe the cost of this is fifty bucks. For, no, no, no. No, it's not. Arc Nova is 40, around 40, maybe a little over 40 after it comes with fees. But this is uh, one of the highest rated board game um, right now on Board Game Geek. So I'm going to play it this Friday. I don't know how to play it, so maybe I'll get back and do a review for Arc Nova. Uh, but it's supposed to be a really good economic game and, and like a Terraforming Mars type game is what I heard where it's both tile placement plus cards and I'm a huge fan of Terraforming Mars so if I can actually think this is as good as a Terraforming Mars game it will definitely be uh, a very happy Kevin because I'm looking for a game to really scratch that itch now I've kind of figured Terraforming Mars out it's not as fun as it used to be let's go ahead and unbox this sucker and I can get my Initial impressions. So again, don't really care about the theme. I don't really care about themes to begin with board games. I, I like how mechanically sound they are so I can do whatever uh, in a board game and feel like I'm having a fun time. So this is like Arc Nova, what a zoo based theme. So, yep, got cards. Got pee there. Whoo, the smell of this one. Whew. So one thing is if you're a board gamer, you start to get addicted when, oh, oh, that sweet smell of opening up a new board game. This one's, this one's phenomenal. I give the smell the smell rating of this board game and a, 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 like a nine, a nine, two, a nine, two for the smell. Oh, get another whiff of that. That is a good woody, woody smell to it. Nice pine smell, like new card smell in here. So yeah, there's gonna be a lot of pieces in here. So it does look very similar to Terraform Mars. looks like you're gonna have cards that will add set collection. Hopefully there's a draft mechanic in this and it does look like boards and putting tiles on boards. So hopefully it does uh, incorporate all those type of uh, mechanics in them. So they got a nice little rule book here, which no one reads. We just go watch a video on how to play and, and do it from there. I'll give my review on this Arc Nova, but I know this has been a few patrons have asked about it. I've ordered a couple copies already for it, uh, for Arc Nova. Uh, so this one is available. Um, and I would buy it now before it sells out because board games have a weird ebb and flow. Um, I actually should get into the board game investment kind of industry because, man, I, there's been some opportunities where things like wingspan or even terraform mars like i said uh things like blood rage uh some of the classic games scythe where you, where they go out of stock and man they go for a pretty penny on the secondary market while they're out of stock because board gamers are huge it's a huge uh genre that that really took off in the last few years with conventions and whatnot so highly highly recommend looking getting into board games if you are a gamer and you're not playing board games i think you're missing out on a very very good experience Last but not least, I, throw, I thought I'd show some cool stuff here with uh, um, what I got going on. So you guys can see my weave collection for someone. So open up a pack a day and then this will make a nice little Christmas present or something. So that's where we're at right now with these weave Attack on Titan cards. So I just got this in a, a Dragon Shield. I, I think this... this uh, Binders way out of stock now. I do have a few left. I don't know what I'll sell them for, uh, but this is can't remember the princess dragon name for this. But that's what I'm doing with it. Kind of fun little idea uh, to to store these these cards in here and and yeah, there you have it. That's where they've been. That's what they look like. The Attack on Titan cards when you open them up. Got them uh, available to order. If you want to order some of those sweep cards? They come in like I said, a lot of other animes as I mentioned before. Um, and you just have to PM me for the availability. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, again, if you do like these videos, be sure to give a like, a comment, and a subscribe, and a bell icon, all that kind of stuff. This channel is dead, dead. I really need to revive it, and if, and if you do like seeing product reviews, another thing that I have that I want to start doing is just like a quick product review. And be like, oh, I'm gonna review the boulder. I'm gonna review this, and I think it's a good way to get people informed of what they can get. I think the Patreon perks get better and better when you know exactly what you can get and how cheap you can get it for and you can save a ton of money so again i, I really like it i feel like everyone in the patrons of family you're all kind of really supporting my store and, uh, and and supporting this uh this operation and it's just a really good like i said symbiotic relationship but if you don't if you don't still uh if you find these videos enjoyable and informative give it a comment all those things to boost the algorithm that'd be greatly appreciated kevin with gone Roll games thanks for watching